So today we have a pretty busy day. We're going to a few of our projects. We're gonna go over to one of our apartment buildings and show you guys the progress on that, as well as one of our projects in the city, um, which is 24 townhomes. Babe, we need to go. Yeah. So, sir, that's included with the text, sir. Okay. Yeah, so just yeah, do your thing, go through, and any questions, call me. I'm heading with Romina to Phoenixville. So today we have a pretty busy day. We're going to a few of our projects. We're gonna go over to one of our apartment buildings and show you guys the progress on that, as well as one of our projects in the city, um, which is 24 townhomes. After that, we actually have to stop by my warehouse and pack the truck for two stagings um, that I have scheduled for tomorrow. We're going to Phoenixville first? Yes. So, what's going on? Um, obviously, some people are not going to like my my thought. I mean, I, I have no idea what's really going to happen. No one really knows. People that say they do, that's BS. You can just make your educated guess for my educated guests from having a little bit of experience in the park. New York is getting crushed because the policies there are a little bit too uh, rewarding to lack of effort and therefore New York is a little bit more in disarray. So people with money and people are being productive, they're looking at it and they're like, well, why should I stay in New York, pay three times the cost of a home to live in a city where I don't feel as safe anymore? And, and because of Corona, I don't need to work in the office, I can work from home. So what happens, I'm like, well, I like the city feel. So what's the advantage of New York or Philly? Obviously New York is a little bit more urban than Philly, but we're still very similar is that there's a lot of walking distance, restaurants, bars, a lot of activities, parks, things to do that's convenient. But in New York, it's three times the price. And right now, obviously, there it's a little bit more, even more unsafe than it is in Philly. At least that's the perception. So, okay. I know. But the idea I... is that the city is still booming so far from what we see because of the fact that New York. Well, a lot of people are Boston, moving to Philadelphia because New York is just getting too expensive. It's too expensive. The city is too Literally, expensive. Boston is too right. expensive. And you get more bang for your buck, and you still get the city, the city feel. No, I want like a real kiss. Okay, fine. What's I'm telling yeah. you? Ew, no! Can you just kiss me normally? That is not normal, I kiss No, like this. Hold on, I need him for a second. Like this. Thank you. Okay. So this used to be a knitting mill a um, hundred plus years ago. We got the warehouse, it was all bare. Uh, with a few parts that had were collapsed, like that structure, that secondary home, um, and we got it with plans to convert it into 23 unit lofts, and we're obviously we're doing that, and we're we're in the middle of the construction and we're process right now. The so we're 60 percent done. We've been doing it for how long? About a year. Yeah. About we, a we year. We had we had a few issues. We were all, we were closer to finishing up and then we got vandalized. So we're going through an insurance claim, which is putting us back three months behind schedule, but I'm hoping this will get all trained out. We'll get, we'll, the insurance will pay out us back so we're at least at a same starting point and we should hopefully finish it up within the next three to four months. A lot of this project has the original brick. And as you can see, some parts of it are dirty, so we're trying to clean it up. Uh, there's other parts that have a new brick, and you can see the difference between the new and the old, but the old gives it character. Here, here, all this has been already washed. No, that hasn't. This, we're this way. Question. So above the window. So right now, I want to give you guys a little tour of the before. Um, of this project. Some of the drywall is already up, some of them are not, um, but I wanted to give you a sense of what it looks like now, and then once it's finished, we'll give you that finished product tour, and I'm really excited because I really think you're gonna love it. Follow me. So this is the first floor unit. Um, you definitely get a lot of light in here. There's windows in the living room and kitchen area. There's big windows in, um, in the bedroom and um, you get a pretty nice view of the parking lot. Uh, the benefits of this unit are not just all the light that you get in here, but also that you don't have to take the elevator 
or the steps. As soon as you walk into the lobby, you can come straight into um, this unit. It's super frustrating because there's no work being done. If there's no work being done, that means the work is going to take longer. So he's calling um, our contractor. Our project manager. Our project manager. Sorry, I used the wrong lingo. But our project manager. Find out like, why isn't anyone here? Why isn't this being worked on? Uh, question. Why is there anyone in Phoenixville today? Talking guy, I think Jeff dropped two dumpsters off, and I, I told Mark this morning I pushed him until tomorrow. Oh, okay, I think I yeah, I think Mark told me about that. So, yeah, uh, guy's breaking my fucking balls with the fucking dumpsters because it's ten miles out of his radius, and Jesus. he's just giving me a hard time. So, who do you use for dumpsters? Uh, this guy Tony, he likes. How, uh, how much does he charge you for dump dumpsters? That dumpster there is a thousand dollars within the ton. Of, within the ton, of, when it goes over, he charges me. I don't know, like $110. Alright, so contact Tyler because I have um, use our dumpster guy. Yeah, it's like I think here because it's a little bit out of his radius, he charges two fifty for delivery and then it's basically just eighty dollars a ton. It would this accident. On seventy six you want to to the city because that's where we're going next. Yeah, don't don't go take the turnpike and go to ninety I've been on seventy six for two and a half hours. Okay. That, that well, that's a good thing I called you. Okay, I appreciate it. <laughs> so we're here in what's going to be the lobby section of the apartment building. And we have one exposed brick wall. And then the other wall, I'm actually going to do this, um, like a wood plank um, wall that we're going to do as a project. And it's going to be me and one of my um, friends who are going to actually put it on the wall we'll see how that works out but i have a vision i think it's going to look really cool user-friendly trends that are happening that we're trying to make it that it's historic but we still want to keep certain features that make make the experience of renting in this building a little bit more enjoyable like the amazon modern. locker like having uh a phone fobs not only a key system where you get your fob but you can also open the front door with your phone you can see who's there and having those little features added into a historic building that usually has no, um, none of those options present is definitely, I think, a, a nice competitive advantage that will differentiate this product from the product that is readily available the sh next street over. We're keeping the style of the, the units to match the style of this apartment building, which I would say is industrial and where you know we worked really hard to find the right tile and the right vanities and the right fixtures and the right kitchen and kitchen handles that's like that's all my job although my my husband is also very good at designing and we kind of do that process together and we definitely enjoy it but we're <laughs> but we're keeping to that industrial style and i think that's gonna give this building that extra like Step and the renters kind of like the push to actually make that final decision of renting here because I personally think it's gonna be cooler than the other options around the area. So we wanted to keep, you know, the original, some of the original history of the building and that's why a lot of the units, I think actually most of the units have the, the original exposed brick. Um, and this, this is the lobby area and this whole wall is gonna stay with this original exposed brick i think it looks super cool and it's super trendy right now in the in the philadelphia area and yeah i'm just really excited to see that finished look we're not in philadelphia oh we're in phoenix though philadelphia so this is a 23 unit project um the idea was to get it done with in and out within a year we hit a few delays by just the shape of the building. We also hit a snag with getting permits and getting approvals by the township. It took a little bit longer. And our latest gaffe um, was that we ended up experiencing vandalism. We have 15 two bedroom units in here. Do they have two bathrooms? With two bathrooms. And we have um, eight one bedroom, one bath units. They're all roughly, the one bedrooms are roughly 800 square feet. The two bedrooms are two, 1,000 square feet. Yeah. They're cozy. They all have, for the most part, exposed brick wall in the exterior. Very large um, wooden windows that look gorgeous. They're going to have the oak hardwood floor with black uh, solid frame uh, hardwood kitchen. We expect to get it done by um, beginning of winter. 
Yeah, like but this year. If nothing else goes wrong. If nothing else goes <laughs> wrong. Yeah. Say how you how even though it's been a difficult process, you are enjoying restoring history. What you said. So one of the things that we attract us to the building that it's historic, it's in the nice, it's large scale. It definitely has features that new construction doesn't have, and mostly what we do is new construction. But we also enjoy restoring older buildings and putting a little bit of our R and R twist to it to give it the features that we like to really accentuate the past and modernize it to the future and make the best of both worlds. Is that good enough? That's perfect. Get approval. And we should also introduce ourselves for the beginning of the video. Like, so point. It's the dynamic between us, Roman. Can it's you just hot. do it's it for a, me? It's like 103 degrees right now. So in this what? Building. This is a sauna. Shut okay, up. Okay, three, that. two, well, one, so action. Hi, I'm Romina. And I'm Roman. And he just got a call. So while Roman handles all of the hard work um, with construction and the building and the permits and you know all the back end stuff, I'm taking care of all the design aspects. So choosing all the finishes, choosing you know the color options for the kitchen and the walls and the floor and the bathrooms. You know we we try to stick to the industrial style of the building for the entire unit. So from the bathrooms to the kitchens to the floors to the windows and even the light fixtures. So it's definitely been a very fun process. It's my first time doing like a very industrial style, but I feel like um, I actually really enjoy doing this style and I can't wait to see the finished product. Have you guys seen any of the units? No, no this is the first time. So let me show you. Some. Like, I really love this whole look here because it's super industrial and I think this area um, would appreciate that. You know, the exposed brick, the exposed mm -hmm. beams, the pipe work. Mm -hmm. um, this unit is cool because it has like four windows in this corner unit. Yeah. Some of them only have like two three or, three. or two. But the idea all the windows are going to be painted and trimmed like with the black. black. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to really keep like the design super unique so that when a person comes in here they're like oh wow so we're here in one of the two bedroom apartments and like some of the units just have one exposed brick wall this one has two we kept these exposed beams which i think we're going to paint black and then we have the exposed like pipe work as well which gives it that industrial feel some of the kitchens have exposed brick as the backsplash and so on those, we're gonna do some open shelving to, to continue that industrial style. Um, if you wanna follow me over here. So here's the shower, bathroom, uh, bedroom number one, bedroom number two. Each, bath, each um, bedroom has their own bathroom. One has a tub and one has a shower. Now what are the square foot, are all the square footage is mixed up? Or yeah, is there like they're all different. Yeah, right. yeah. Each one is different. At the end of the day, the market is the market. Yeah. You know, they did, they they tell you what the, the yeah. value is. So, you know, I think we but start- the market hasn't slowed down if they think so. Because I, I know in the city it hasn't, in the suburbs, in Bucks County, it's booming. It's it 20, 30 percent down above anywhere. the market. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We, have, we have 85 units in Pottstown and we have zero vacancies right now. Yeah, I have a waiting list for people that want to get into units. They're right. filled before they even become vacant. So basically what I'm getting we'll from is 30 them. days, rent out the entire building. This one is one of my favorite units because the kitchen is actually against the exposed brick wall, which I feel like makes it so special because that's gonna be the backsplash is the exposed brick. For some of the upper cabinets, instead of having cabinets, we're gonna do open shelving. So you can actually see more of that exposed brick. So it's gonna be like the fridge, the sink, and then on the other side of that is just gonna be open shelves where you can either put you know, cups or some kind of decorations. So there's pluses and minuses to every unit in this, um, in this building. So this one is one of the bedrooms and so bright in here because it has two big windows and you have you know, a little closet and definitely enough space for a queen or even a king size bed, some nightstands, a dresser, side chair, whatever it is that. So this is the second bedroom and it has its own bath. So you'll have a shower, you know, your vanity, your toilet, and then there is also another bathroom, um, which is the hallway bath and kind of the bathroom for that second bedroom. So all the two bedrooms have their 
have two bathrooms as well. Um, there's a few, I think there's two um, units that actually have a big balcony um, attached to it. So if you want, we can go and see that. This is, from what I understand, a one bedroom unit. But what makes this unit so special is it actually has its own balcony. As you can see, this balcony is huge. You can entertain guests, you can barbecue. You know, when it's a nice day out, you can definitely have a party out here. And your neighbors right next door also have basically the same amount of space. So these two units, I think, will um, definitely be the more higher end units because of this, you know, luxurious, huge balcony. Hello? Uh, we were just wondering if your company uh, would provide the service of, uh, you know, state, staging the area so it looks better in professional photos. Is that something you would do? Yes, exactly what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just had a few questions, you know, obviously price and, um, what exactly, um, like, do your products, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. well, it, See, for us, it would be more like, you know, just a one-day thing. So why we take, when we take professional photos? Oh, of course. I mean, if I'm only doing, you know, just a kitchen or just a living room, I would definitely work with you on the price for that. I mean, mind you, it does cost me money to, you know, hire people to bring in the things and take it out. So I would have to see exactly what you need, how many things you need, and then I would adjust the price for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, call me anytime. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I feel like this apartment is definitely the one of the nicer ones that we have because not only do you have windows in the bedrooms, there's two bedrooms here, but you also have the windows in the living room and it's three windows and it just brightens up the space and really gives it like this luxurious feel. Um, so you have a, a linen closet, you'll have your washer and dryer, the kitchen is um, right across from the windows, so that whole area is the kitchen. And then we have over here, um, it's a combined, so it's a bathroom that's, you know, for everybody, but also it's connected to the one bedroom. And it also has a shower in that bathroom. And then you can get to the bedroom either through the bathroom or through the hall over here. And so as you can see, it's a pretty good sized bedroom. It has a huge window. Um, you still get that exposed, uh, exposed brick wall. Um, on the one side, you have you know a fairly decent closet for your clothes and things and there's more than enough room for a whole you know bedroom set in here and then across the hall which is nice the bedrooms are not touching so you have one bedroom on one side the other bedroom on the other side also the exposed brick you have the bathroom in here this one has a tub and two closets actually. The grid that's on the window is also something that we want to incorporate into um, the shower doors. So they're also going to be black and have this grid, which really gives it that industrial feel. So I'm really excited to see how they look once they're installed. We have a bunch of storage units in the basement Nine, where people can rent out to 10, store whatever junk they 11, have. 11, 12, 13. We have 14 storage units. We kind of caught, so what if you uh, had you know, like, like this. an entrance, like a small hallway? Like that's its own entrance, and then yeah, this so over here is its own how, entrance. Really nice unit. Yeah. So yeah. what we did is we just pushed it out an extra 100, an extra 200 feet out of there to make instead of two small bedrooms, we make spacious and bedrooms. This is kind of like a foyer area. Yeah. Area. Like I, just, foyer, I wired it for a living room. We're getting premium product, not something where I'm later on the like, way. Was it worth it? Could we have just done it in house and tried to because underselling. It's like in anything, like if you sell a used car, if you sell at the cheapest price, you're more likely to get a lot more traffic than the guys that, this is why their name is because they're selling it for a premium because they have the whole package. You schmooze them, he winds them, dines them, and you get it done. We always like to try to push. Yeah. The first first things first is we try to fill it. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So now there's more money involved later on through longevity. And I also have a bunch of properties that I Airbnb. So those properties I can call you, yo, can you go stage that one for me? So yeah. it's not just a, I'm just trying to build a relationship first without saying, all right, this is gonna cost me 10 grand for one room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, well, I gotta kind of weigh my pros and cons. It's yeah. beneficial for me. Honestly, like it's, I'm gonna be there for the entire process. So, like I said, I'm gonna choose all the furniture. I'm gonna send you the options. So that's also a lot of communication between me and you to make sure that you like the options that I chose. 
um, and that's uh, all the options from from floor to ceiling the rugs the accessories the paint of the ceiling the paint of the walls the wallpaper the window treatments all the furniture you know making sure that everything that to be there when it all comes in I have to make sure that everything's placed in the right places I have to make sure the artwork is hung the right way that it's straight that it's centered that it's like you know ha like you know you can anyone can go and hang a piece of art but doesn't mean it's gonna look good like it has everything has to make sense has to be symmetrical has to be done right so i'm also going to be there that's in my fee is to be there to make sure that all these things are done right and you know to perfection you know what i mean and all of that like i said it takes time but i can promise you that it will be done you know the right way and whatever issues are we're going to come across they're going to be issues that i face you know head first all right cool uh yeah if you want to just send me the just a revised, the revised contract, contract. Just saying that yeah, that is, you know, we're gonna agree to those two rooms at three grand. That's cool with me. Okay, sounds good. So that was one of my clients for interior design. We were working out a price, um, but the end result of his project is gonna be so cool. I'm so excited, it's super funky, like totally my vibe, totally my style. So that's another little stay tuned situation. So we're also installing um, a new elevator in the building so that it's handicap accessible and there's one on every floor. So if you can't walk up the steps or you just don't want to, um, you can take the elevator to each of the floors in this building. Hey guys, so we're here at Perky Omen. Um, this is our 24 townhomes that we're building. They don't, they're not gonna look like 24 identical homes. They're all gonna have their own yeah, spirit. They're gonna reflect the buyer's choices. Yeah. Which is a really cool feature yeah. that no, no other builder does. Yeah.